Matt G, the ghost lady, and Len Moleko. Uh, he's speaking about radio. Mm. And a lot of people have been having discussions about radio on social media, which sure. I love recently. Sure. Yeah. What What do you think is the state of radio right now? As a personality who's on air on Metro FM, what do you think of the state of radio right now? Listen, radio is changing. Radio is evolving um, with times. There's people that have come and gone. There's people that have stayed in radio. Radio is like any other industry, you know? Um, and I, I mean, I've seen comments of legends that I love. I, I had, I had, ooh, I had a... I had a conversation with um, what's his name? Is it Kenny Maestri? Oh, Kenny, Kenny Maestri. Yeah, <gasps> we had the most beautiful conversation in Cape Town, and he was talking about the. Is he the guy you cheated with? No. What? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> God, he's married. <laughs> no, 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 no. But no, 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 no. No, I'm kidding. I'm <laughs> kidding. <laughs> The person I cheated with was like, oh. I'm sure that guy not popular that day. I put a tape over his mouth. <laughs> Please don't tell nobody. Please. <laughs> Please, Kiara Pam, brother. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> no, but legit. Um, yeah. No, I mean, radio has changed. You know, radio is evolving like any other industry. And you, it's, it's. When you listen right now, do you like, are you like, mm, this is dope? There's certain things I would change, correct? Because, um, well, there's certain things I would change. Um, Which are? If I was a radio... <sighs> I, I mean, I can't pinpoint what I would change, but it's, it's, it's... You see, the most dangerous thing one person can do is listening to social media on... Listen you know, to the noise. The noise. Mm-hmm. Do you, I think I feel like if, if I had to be a radio station manager... I would work, I would go with what works for the station because mm. end of the day, it's like revenue. It's, it's, it's bringing the listeners, what the listeners want, what it's the a business. listeners enjoy. It's a business, mm. end of the day. Um, the culture does change like any other culture. You're a station um, manager right now. Give me your lineup, starting from breakfast on Metro FM. Oh, well, there's a new lineup. Um, no, 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 fuck that new lineup. I want oh, your okay. one. Oh, you are the station manager. Okay, I'm the station manager. I of would Metro put... FM. Um, so weird. I'll put more flavor in the morning. Okay. I'll put more flavor in the afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> I'd put more flavor everywhere. <laughs> That's how much love I have for more flavor. Honey, I'll put you everywhere. <laughs> Even graveyard. Who <laughs> are the more flavor? We can't. More flavor. So, wait, wait, wait. Okay. Yeah. So, I'd put more flavor in the morning, right? Yes. Midday. I would put uh, myself um, and someone else. I just, I can't think of anyone else. After, um, no, no, no. Nine to 12, I put myself, right? Mm-hmm. 12 to three, I would put, oh, I can't think of anyone, but I know at three, I would, three to six, six I would put Dineo. Mm. And another guy. Mm. And then uh, six to, not because you're here, friend, we we're talking about this. Yeah. Six to nine, I would I'd probably get crucified for this. Uh, get rid of talk. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Metro is not a thingy. Yeah. But I would put you wow. and um, you nine. You give me a job, Tom. Nine till, nine, till, nine in the evening, nine till 12, I'd put Waras. Oh, Waras. The shady yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. would be that would be my station. Yeah. I mean, we're talking about like current people, people yeah. that are just going to be, you know, like fresh, mm. fresh young people. That's so a dope lineup. Old school. Oh my word. Old school. I would put. Um, I still love Ismail Ibrahim. I'd put Kenny Maestri. I'd put Bob Mabena. I'd put all of the Melanie Bala there. I'd actually give Melanie Bala her own show mm. because that's how good I feel she is. I feel like she's like. She needs her own show. Um, oh, even there, I'd put Mas Chaba. Mm. Somewhere there. I just don't know where. Yeah. Yeah, I'd put some, Mas Chaba somewhere in so there. So no naked DJ? I would... Um, <laughs> I'd put naked. Naked. <laughs> <laughs> naked needs to put on his clothes. <laughs> uh, how did Live Amp change your life? Because uh, a lot of people don't know this, but that show is huge. Yeah, massive live amp. It is massive. Like they'll say, and it's it's not a lie. It's the biggest music show on the continent. The most watched. 
it changed my life in sense of as when I because I started DJing when I was at Metro. Yeah. And then I joined Live Amp and they worked so well together mm. because it was just music. Mm. And obviously the gigs started coming in and people really got to know me as a DJ, as a club DJ. So that's how it changed my life. And also just doing something different, mm. you know, comparing to what I was doing then, which was the link, which was a fashion and a lifestyle show. Yeah. And now I got to tap into music, you know, to the, into the mu- music industry, which I'm really passionate about. It was an amazing two years. I was only there for two years. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah. So it was a really great journey until... And you're working with Waras, such a dope guy. Love Listen, Waras. I love... You know what I love about Waras? And it, you don't get... A lot of men in the industry are not willing to help. Mm. And a lot of us don't speak about it. Yeah. A lot of men in the industry are not willing to help females. Hmm. Because let's be honest, and they're probably going to bite my head. I'm going to get subtweets, whatever. I don't give a damn. You guys know this. But a lot of them w- are still competing with women. And I'm specifically also talking about the DJing with the presenting, the radio DJing. They never give, give props to women. And women never speak about it because they still want to be liked by the most popular men in the industry. For me, I don't give a damn. Mm. Whether you like me or you say I'm your woman crush Wednesday or not, I don't give a damn. Mm. But give credit where it's It's due. due. If you think I'm good, I'm a good DJ, don't be shy to do it. Because we do that with you guys. Mm. Like, I'll listen to your set and I'm like, yo, MacGyver, dump set. But a lot of guys will be like, yeah, no, we're not gonna say anything. Do you think they feel intimidated because no, there's a there's not all though. Mm. I mean, I have a lot of male friends, DJs in the mm. industry that I love and that have also helped me to be where I am today. But there are some who are still very what do you call them? Uh, misog- sour, misog- mis- mis- misogynistic. Yes, misogynistic. Mm. Very much. Yeah. V- you see are we still in that time, me. guys? MacGyver, don't act like you don't know this. Uh, you I, know it's... Uh, 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 uh. I've been I out mean, of the game for so long. People have <laughs> people have like a DJ group where it's just males only. Let's start there. I'm not even in that group. I didn't even know it existed. And I'm probably going to get like thingy for that. But no, I mean... No wonder I'm not getting things, gigs. Yeah, <laughs> There's small things like that mm. where... I know women are being discussed. Uh, discussed. Yeah. You know, female DJs are being discussed or women that are doing well in the industry are being discussed or when a woman gets a big deal, it's like, ah, she got that deal because of whatever. If, when a woman gets a car, ah, she got that car because of... No, my guy, I'm getting more bookings than you. Yes. I am one of the most booked female... D- D- Actually, I'm one of the most booked DJs in the country. Yeah. Proudly so because I w- it's a fact. And you worked and hard for I it. I work hard for it. Yeah. But... Th- there are some who will never acknowledge that. Mm. Uh, people have said to me that I sleep with promoters. What the fuck? Uh, yeah. Hey, I, I'd love to be a promoter. DJs man. that I know have said I sleep with promoters. Yeah. That's fucked up, man. And then I still sit, the DJs that I, and I'm like, how many promoters do I have to sleep with? Do I, am I going to sleep with for my gig guy to look like what it does? But, your gig but because a lot of men are not willing to accept that society, times are changing. Yes. We are, you know, things have shifted. Yeah. We, and it's not even, we don't even, we don't want you to accommodate us, no. Please. It's adapt to die. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's a big pie. Yeah, it is huge. It is huge. How many gigs in a weekend in the whole country? How many gigs? Bruh, they, it still happens continuously. I see the conversations but I think the most important thing is just I go to my gig, I work, I prove every time. And I mean, you see, even I have, it's so funny because a lot of my gigs, are, a lot of my gigs, I have men coming to my gigs. Yeah. I don't know if that's a good thing or bad. Because <laughs> when I'm DJing, I'm like, God damn. <laughs> <laughs> Whew, there's a lot of fish in the sea. Yeah. But you know. Um, I think the last time just, I heard you play was in, when I went to Vend in December. That was a long time ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, they yeah. said LKG is coming. And you were there, and then uh, my cousin was like, let's go say, I'm like, I don't want to seem like a groupie. <laughs> Why? I'm your groupie. Hey, hey no. <laughs> <laughs> I'll always be your groupie. And your set was dope. Yeah. You know? But not a lot of people, but there's people who like you, who acknowledge that, like Mo, Mo Flavor, you know, Mo Flavor has booked me at like most of his gigs and this DJ somebody of whom I actually started DJing with many years ago. He taught me how to DJ. Um... 
but uh, there's obviously other guys who are still sour about it and it's like yo we are just all here to work and make as much money or maybe probably even more than you do yeah and it's okay yeah. we're not here to take anything away from you we just want to work together uh right, let's talk about nice things fuck those djs that are hating yeah <laughs> uh what's the biggest paycheck you've ever received yo yeah, it's a lot if you're drinking. <laughs> I'm drinking with you. I don't know how much, but I'm drinking. <laughs> yeah, I'll drink with you. You want the tax man to be after me? <laughs> no, I ain't saying Jack. The reason why I'm asking, because mm. you're a model, you're an actress, businesswoman, influencer, TV. Scrape model and scrape actress. Okay. Don't do that anymore. Radio. Yeah. DJ. Which one gives you the biggest bag? Mm. My guy, DJing, what do you Meh. mean? <laughs> I'm not even going to think twice. Like, I'm going to be very honest about it. And yeah. it's so weird. Today, uh, yesterday, I was tweeting about brands and how brands are in South Africa are still very much behind with regards to hiring people because they deserve it. Yeah. I've lost that on so many gigs because someone was a friend, a friend to an agency yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. You know Connections. What I mean? Connections, etc. Mm, yeah. But I'm like, the reason why I love DJing so much is that a promoter calls you. They book you, they pay you, mm. you do your job, on to the next gig, yeah. you know. Um, I won't lie. I make most of my money. Actually, my money, my my house, my my cars and whatever, it's all DJing. It's, mm. it's really, it's really, really good money. But also promoters are not stupid. Yeah. They're not going to book you because you woke up today and you're like, I'm a DJ. Mm. It took me a very long time to be taken serious by not only people, the masses, but also promoters yeah. to say, actually, oh, she's a good DJ. And they know it's value for money because exactly. if they bring you, yes. people come. People come. And they just want to so sell tickets. So it's also the people. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Mm. So... It's definitely the most of the money I get. Most of my money comes from DJ. I won't even lie. Uh, top three songs in your DJ set that you have to play. Like your go-to songs. Every DJ has this. Classic? It doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. Whatever songs you go to. Mm, uh, Soul Cafe. Welcome it with Kalo. Oh, it's a Soul Cafe. Oh, Welcome you like that. everybody. Yeah, Love yeah, that yeah, song. Yeah. Um, and Free, uh, Stephanie Mills. Oh, I wanna, I wanna be, be free. free from hey, you got your an old soul, love. Eh? <laughs> love, love, love the song. And the third one will be, I would say Summer Days, but that is so fresh. Like, <laughs> fresh, fresh, I'm sure chooses Summer Days all the time. So I'll skip, I'll skip Summer Days. I'll say. Weren't you heartbroken um, when you realized when you grew older that Fresh didn't do that song? Because we all thought he did it. Bruh. <laughs> I was like. No, but Fresh is the one that did that song. <laughs> and they're like, no, he didn't. <laughs> Nick Holder. Yeah, Nick Holder did. <laughs> and I was like, oh, okay. And till this day, Fresh gets bookings because of that song. Because of that song, yeah, <laughs> which is dope. But I think it's that. So it's it's, it's Soul Cafe. It is... Um, what did you think about the whole free. Fresh thing? Um, I didn't think about it. Oh, okay. Got you. Is it a fair answer? Yeah, that yeah. is. It's, you're being yeah, honest. Yeah. I don't know. I didn't... I didn't, I didn't think about it it's 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 almost like uh, i don't think anyone thinks about my battles yeah so, yeah you get what i'm saying yeah. so i didn't think about it like you tunnel visioned yeah 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 mm -hmm. yeah. i am and you have to because this industry you like i was saying earlier on you have to fight your own battles no mm. one is gonna fight your battles yeah. so i didn't think about it because i also didn't have that much much information, information. of what was happening mm. i was I legit was not aware of what was happening. Mm. Like, so and you I saw also it just did, like we did on Twitter. I just saw like you guys did on Twitter. I mm. didn't know what was happening and I would see him and then I didn't see him. Then I was like, oh, okay, he's probably going to come back. And then mm. I saw on social media when he said he's not coming back. And I was like, oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, well, because it was always nice to see Fresh because we were always like in the morning. Always had these funny jokes, etc. Is there a bet at Metro of who's going to say Mtsunari first? <laughs> it's probably going to be more flavor. <laughs> I see more flavor saying that. <laughs> no, but I, I mean, it's, it's, uh, yeah, I don't, hey, it's, it's really unfortunate. All right, but we're going to play a game soon, eh? Okay. But before, where's your phone? You need to get your phone. Is that your phone? Yeah, eh? that's my phone. Okay, we're going to play a game soon. Ah. But before we play a game, you yeah. got a love hate relationship with Black Twitter. And you are very yeah. um, notorious for blocking people. I have a hate relationship with Twitter. Oh, so there's no love. Love is probably 1%. Okay, why is that? I have received the most hatred Meh. from black Twitter. And till today, I don't understand why. And when I say 
when I say hatred, because I don't like using the word hate like loosely, because I feel like it's such a strong word. But I have received the most hatred in terms of people have really tried to rip me apart and make me feel like I don't deserve to be where mm. I am. And just they have um, like they've, they've ripped me apart. They've made me feel like shit mm. for many years. So I don't I really I don't have I think one percent love and the rest is just hate. And that's why you block people. Yeah, because I've, I've also had to learn to not reply. Mm. I've had to learn to block yeah. the negative energy, yeah. even though it's not easy. Because yeah. sometimes, uh, Magava, I want to say like, but what did I do to you? Yeah, you don't yeah, know yeah. me. But there's trolls. I've Lerato. never, and I'm like, no, 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 but I know. You see, but it's hard because I'm like, you've never sat down with me. Mm. I don't, see, maybe because I'm different. I'm, mm. I, I don't see myself waking up in the morning and say, yo, I hate that girl. I don't know her, but I hate her. Yeah. But I mean, in the same light, when you get into this in industry, mm. you know it's a part and parcel of being. No, in no, no, industry. it is, it is. You know, and that's something that I've had to struggle with accepting. You know, because not I've everybody's heard. gonna like you. Not everyone is gonna like you. But this is the thing. It's, it's, that's why um, one of my friends are saying, "But you're so naive to think that everyone is gonna like you because you think everyone knows the type of person that you are." Mm. There are people that are not gonna like you because they know you're a nice person. Like, why yes. must you be nice? Well, they just hate that you look so damn hot. Yeah. Well, never mind that. <laughs> but there's people that are just not gonna like you because they just don't like you, mm. and it's okay. But you see, there's boundaries. There's people that really you can tell that this person has so much hatred from me, you mm. know, for me. Um, like there was someone who called me a muapa. Muapa means, um, kind of what's the word in English, when you can't have children. Hey. Like people randomly, and you know, you'll be like, good morning, and someone will just randomly say that. And oh, that is, man. see, for me, that's like, that's, not, that's oh, like, how nabuto. You are so mm. dead inside as an individual. For you to come to me, you know what I just realized. Yeah, I realized women in this industry get the most trolling. No, but we get the most trolling. Yeah, shit, we get the most trolling. I've had Kelly Kumalo. She get trolled. Yeah, um, I had Bonang kids, and someone was trolling her for not being able to have kids or something like. Yes, why would? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we get the most. Dinero gets trolled. All of us men don't get trolled in the industry. No, and it's so weird because I. Call me naive, but I feel like it's in South Africa. Mm. South Africans have become so comfortable with um, degrading mm. women, with insulting and that's women. You just living we have life. become so South Africans have become it's, it's become such a norm, and you see that culture growing every day on social media. Where I'd rather attack, degrade, insult a woman then go and insult a MacGyver or a Fresh or, mm. uh, you know, a Roger Good or mm. whoever. Mm. They are more comfortable because they think we are vulnerable mm. or it's easier because, you know, MacGyver, you know that you'll come out and be like, I'm going to find you and you're going to whip their asses, mm. you know. So South Africans have become more, more comfortable with emotionally abusing, abusing women. Anyway, let's have fun. Grab your phone there. Fuck those guys, man. Fuck Black Twitter. Yeah, can can I have my phone? Wow. Do you like swear? Because I'd love to swear here. Yeah, you can. No. <laughs> hey, Are you I, can't, hey, I can't say fuck Black Twitter. We'll edit that out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here mind. we go. All right, cool. So we're going to play a game. It's called Picture This. Yeah. I don't know why it's called that. I just like the name. Okay. So I'm going to go to your gallery. I'm going to call a number. Okay. You're going to see what picture that number is. Yeah. And explain what is happening. On that picture. Okay. Does it make does it make sense? Yeah. Okay. Jesus, cool. But where are the numbers? Okay, go to gallery, ne? I'm at gallery. Yeah. Maybe. Okay, go to number seven. How picture number I, seven. How do I get there? Okay, so seven picture. So this is like, this is today I get. Yeah. One. Oh, oh okay. wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's a sundown's drum. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's yeah, nice. let's start it again. But yeah. Okay, cool. Okay. Yeah. Okay, 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 cool. Let's go to the nudes. Where are the nudes? Okay, let me... We can... Let's do it this way. Where there's more... Ah! <laughs> That's the one! <laughs> Maybe not this one. Okay, cool. Number eight. Yo. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah! Show me the picture. No, it's just a picture of me with short hair and no makeup. Oh, okay. Yeah. What is going on here? Um, I was just trying out new hair. Is this you? Yeah. Damn, Lerata. <laughs> I'll risk it I all, eh? Look, ah! <laughs> 
<laughs> I know. I always look so different with no makeup. But I was just trying out the new hair with no makeup. Yeah. Yeah, Mari, you look like you're from Deep Groove here. Come here land somewhere. Yes. That's Moja what girl. Local location. Moja Cafe. <laughs> I am that girl. <laughs> okay, let's do number 20. Number 20. Oh, my word. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10, 12. Ah, no, it's a video. Okay, let's see the video. It's a makeup video. Okay. I was explaining something. This is you. That is me. No, man. What this do doesn't you mean? look like you. That is me. Hi, Lerato. Listen. This is you. That is me. Damn, girl. Okay, cool. You're going to send me this. Yeah. We'll play it. That's you. That's me. I know. I Baby, come look at her. This is not her, bro. <laughs> <laughs> You've never seen me without makeup? No. That is weird. I always post pictures with no makeup. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, let's do one more. Um, one more word. Okay. Uh, let's go, go down. Let's go down a bit. No, you don't want to go to the top? Down is like recent pictures. Okay. Let's ah! Okay, yeah. Give me that one. Give me a juicy one. Give me that one. <laughs> like, what is that hard to? What's happening here? Hey, my nigga! My nigga! No! <laughs> it's the naked no! DJ. <laughs> You're an idiot. No way. <laughs> You're such an idiot. No. I was... Wait, wait. Okay. I can explain. Okay, explain, girl. We were driving somewhere. <laughs> no, we're, we're legit driving somewhere. And um, <laughs> yeah. And I was trying to take dope pictures of him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Hey, I don't wish I'm not naked. <laughs> what do you mean? No, 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 no. We're just trying to take pictures. You see, I've got like, Jesus. Like, look. Wow, my <laughs> nigga. My nigga. Oh, Lerato, you've been amazing, man. Thank you Thank so much. Thank you for dude. coming. Thank uh, you for we've coming. We've done an hour now, bro. This is yeah, is that hour. an hour? Oh yeah. my God, felt like 20 minutes. It did. Yeah. Listen, what I love about you, you know, is, you know, the thing is, what people don't understand or what people might not know about you and me is that we are friends, but not friends. Yeah. Like, in terms of like, if I need you to, if I need your help, I can call you. I yeah. know I can call you anytime. Yeah. yeah. But I'm not going to be like, here, yeah, Brian with you. Yeah. Even if you do, I don't understand. I mean, no, no, no. I, I'm, 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 no, I'm I get sense. what you're saying. No, mm. no, I get what you're saying, and and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Yeah. There's there's friends where we are together every weekend. Yes. And there's friends where, you know, we don't see each other often, but yes. the friendship is not lost. Yes. When we see each other, it's like we've it's been all hanging. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. And I think this is what a lot of people don't understand that if I don't call you every day, it doesn't mean that the friendship is, is lost. If yes. I don't see you every month, yeah. it doesn't mean that the friendship is lost. Yeah. We are still friends exactly. because we grow and we are doing other things yeah. and you know, it's and that's cool. why you were able to pick up the phone and say, yo, Mac, come to my house yeah. and let's record, you know, Hi. because of that. But I hadn't spoken to you in like years, but you, know. was, you still picked it up. You know I what think I mean? you're the first, oh God, I was, I was about to say the first industry person to be at my house, but you are the third. Yeah. Oh, wow. Zintler, Pearl, and you. Ah, they don't count. I'm the first guy. Okay, and maybe naked, but like, hey! no. <laughs> <laughs> but he's a friend <laughs> He needs to come to the house, of course. <laughs> oh, so, man. yeah, so you're the fourth. Yeah, yeah. You're the fourth. Yay! My guy, I made it to my house. Larato, I love you a long time. Um, good luck with all the rest. Thank Hopefully, you, you don't say me sooner any, anytime soon. No, I won't. Hopefully, you don't get fired, you no, know, because we love I hearing you so on the radio. Too. We love hearing you DJ. Uh, I see you just started your new... Um, eyelash range. Eyelash range. Yeah. And you got a new YouTube channel, no? Yes, I've got a new YouTube channel. Hi, it's guys. Welcome <laughs> to my YouTube channel. It is so weird. <laughs> I was saying to him earlier on that it is the most difficult thing ever. So I need to, like, upload as often as I can. But it's not so easy. But, I mean, I mean, uh, a YouTube is a completely different space. Uh, it's know? easy if you jobless. Um, yeah, wow. Stop <laughs> saying that. <laughs> no, you're not. Stop saying you're jobless. You, I believe that MacGyver is going to bounce back and he's just going to irritate us again. Yeah, let me read traffic on your show there. Who's reading traffic there? We don't have traffic <laughs> between oh, 9 and 12. <laughs> no, I believe you're going to bounce back. I believe, well, actually, I, for me, you know, everything happens for a reason. And I think just this time that you've taken off, mm. it was just for you to just really try and figure out what yeah. you really want. Yeah. And my heart, I promise you, let's shake hands. Let's shake. In April, you're gonna have a show. Hey, hey, no. Yeah, and you touched my boobs like. <laughs> I mean, 
<laughs> what more do you need? Whoa, the first guy in the industry <laughs> touched my boobs. God damn. So yeah. yeah. So everyone can leave me alone now. My boobs are real. My yes. Dino's. Yes, yeah. I do. So does Naked. Yay. No, <laughs> Naked has not touched my boobs. Right <laughs> <laughs> no, Naked DJ has not touched my boobs. Hey, hashtag Oscar man. Yeah, he, he's not that lucky. <laughs> He's not as lucky as you. Okay, cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, so your YouTube channel? Yes, I've got the YouTube channel, which is doing well. I'm hoping to reach your numbers, oh, <laughs> but wow. it's going to take me a while. Yeah. But um, I've got my own uh, eyelash, um, eyelash range, which is going to be launching in stores. Oh, nice. Um, looking forward to that. I mean, that thing has like low-key bankrupt me because I had to use oh, my own yeah. money. But, but that's um, what makes, that's the beauty about exactly, it. Exactly. Because I know what's going to happen at the end. So that's mm. why I'm like, ah, whatever. So I'm excited about it. It's my own baby, self-funded. I've got a whole team that's working with mm. me that I pay. So it's great. Otherwise, it's just um, a looter continuum. Yeah. Mm. And gigs are coming. As we about to get in the, the festive season. The gigs are now. like, in, I, I, you know, every day I say I'm so blessed. Mm. I really am. Because when I came in, Everyone was so skeptical, mm. and people were like, oh, "So when I go to Pelagu, mm. but I think my love and the passion for what I do kind of pull through, pull me through. And geez, like every weekend I'm working. Sometimes I find myself like DJing from Tuesday till like Sunday, Monday. Oh, so when do you see working. Naked DJ then? I see him at work. <laughs> the only time I should be seeing him. <laughs> we just talk again. Why? <laughs> <laughs> my guy, don't be that person. I hate you. No. I love you No, so but much. legit. We're like, no, we're good friends. And if you start dating, you're going to be the first to know. Please do. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I love you so much. You know what? On a serious note, you're so resilient. Thank you, baby. You know what you want? And you fucking go out there and get it. Thank you, And sweetie. nobody can stop it. Thank you. you know, I like that, man. I think we need more women like that. Uh, because women go through a lot. You know, like you're saying, you like when I get a gig, all I'm thinking about is... Rocking the crowd. Yeah. But with you, you got to think about the backlash from yeah. the industry yeah. and other DJs, validation, yes. promoters but and all the stuff. Yeah. And then yeah. social media. It's a and lot. Even, even sometimes and you got to look good on top exactly. of that. And sometimes even the crowd, because there are people who come in not to listen because they want to enjoy you, but they want to listen to hear you fuck up. Yeah. The, like there are people like this, yeah. you know. So there's a lot of, there's more pressure on us than anything else, which really sucks. But I think it just, um, if you're really passionate and you're really hungry about what you're doing, um, you know, this makes you push harder and just really not perfect your crowd, but just really master it and respect it more. And, you know, the rest of the world will just give Love it back you to long you. Time, Love you long time. Love you, MacGyver! This has been podcasting. Chill, we out of here. Rock the girls. When are you making the condoms again? Yeah. Ah, I finished them. You finished all the condoms. <laughs> How Rena, what are we supposed to <laughs> He finished all the condoms. Now we've got no condoms left. <laughs> I think this was the longest, eh? Wow. I know the longest. Good luck like editing. Yo, dude. <laughs> Podcast and chill. Matt G, the ghost lady, and Len Moleko.